and now to other parts of Africa, Kenya's President Uhuru Kenyatta has called on the international community to lift sanctions against Zimbabwe, saying that restrictions are hurting the southern African nation. Kenyatta termed the sanctions as illegal and assured Zimbabwe of Kenya's continued advocacy to ensure that the restrictions are lifted. The Kenyan leader was speaking at the State House during a joint press briefing with a visiting Zimbabwe President Emerson Nagagua shortly after the two heads of state led their respective delegations in bilateral talks. Now, the two countries signed bilateral agreements, which include memoranda of understanding on political and diplomatic consultations, tourism and wildlife conservation, and civil aircraft accidents and serious incidents investigations. Other MOU signed were on women empowerment and community development, youth affairs, cooperatives and sport and recreation activities. Continue with our support of Zimbabwe against the illegal sanctions that have been imposed on that country and continue to cause undue problems, issues, and trouble for the people of Zimbabwe. And this we consider to be unfair for these hardships are artificially created and we continue to call on the international community to remove these illegal sanctions. I thank Kenya for this support and solidarity for Zimbabwe in the call for the unconditional removal of unilateral sanctions that were imposed on Zimbabwe. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.